Hi, Stratford. This is Barry Hopwald, Artistic Director of the Global Theatre Project for our fourth annual Stratford Shakespeare Connection. This year we were very happy to work with Actors for Autism. Um, our theme, which we gave the title to our project, is What is Our Part? What is the part that we each take in the world uh, on the global stage as young artists and artists connecting to each other? So we are very um, grateful for this opportunity yet again to connect with you on your celebration for William Shakespeare's birthday. And we look forward to sharing um, some of the work of the project we did today here in Los Angeles. global citizenship versus um, nationalistic citizenship. Not to disparage American pride, but to kind of broadcast to other nations that we care about their countries, that we're curious. What are the most important things going on in here? The six aids, okay, the, letter, the number six isn't really all that. Uh, this project going out globally and talking about a human scale, what is our part in the world, um, and also, what is our part as artists? What is our part as artists interacting? And Let me see a whiny schoolboy. Jerry, whiny schoolboy. Even in the process this morning of taking apart sections of the text and saying, what does this actually mean? Lean and slippered pantaloon. So pantaloons are the pants. So, and he's got slippers on. So like, we're talking about a little old man that's like, <laughs> right? With Shakespeare, he's, he deals with universal subjects and struggles that the young adults that are artists that we work with, um, it teaches them a lot just about the world in general. Love, being heartbroken, death, and how to deal with that. So those things are just people with disabilities, young adults with disabilities, are just normal functioning adults. Those are issues that everybody needs to learn how to cope with. And um, I believe Shakespeare touches all those areas with his work and how to cope with them through through art. Shakespeare's language, there's a reason why it's timeless. There is, there is a reason why it has been around forever and I think it's so important to, especially for children and young adults in the population that we worked with today, to know that they are part of that. And, and then the justice, with fair round belly, with good cake on Good, 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 okay. And given their disabilities, their interpretation of Shakespeare was um, definitely interesting because they do have disabilities on what they, what their interpretation of that in, uh, through their eyes. It's a process of interpretation and looking into the writing and asking ourselves, what does that mean to us and does it have relevance to what our lives are today? <laughs> and the whining schoolboy with his satchel and the shining morning face creeping like a snail on the Look at the camera. Oh, school sucks. Very good. Yep, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Oscar Weiner, and I'm going to perform the All the Worlds of Stage, and this is from As You Like It by William Shakespeare. All the Worlds of Stage. But if thou remember not to be, thy single and thine image dies with thee. All the conspirators, save only he, did, which they did in the envy of great Caesar, which was he only in a general honest thought, a uh, blind man, and common, and common that all made one of them, and his life was gentle in the elements, so mixed in him, that nature might s just stand up and 
and say to all the world, this was a man. Thank you. It's an amazing program to be able to bring the attention and artisans of Global Theatre Project in and to have this community of young people create work that they know is going to make a global impact is um, it's amazing. I to a halt. I can sign reasons making no defense. Damn kids not love, disgrace me half so well. We set a form upon desire change. As I myself disgrace known thy will. I'll acquaintance, straggle, look strange. Be absent from thy walks, and in my tongue, thy sweet beloved name no more shall dwell. Lest I too much profane to do it wrong, and happily of all the quintus tell, for thee against myself I'll vow to bait, for I must never love whom thou dost hate. Definitely, um, from working with our students for so long, I know their outlook on the world as a, as a person, as a young adult, and their outlook on the world as an artist has changed drastically through performing these pieces. And I think now their awareness is so much bigger than just the city, the state that they live in, and now they're looking at things on a global level on how they can affect people with their, with their art. They'll be answering some questions for me. Guys, you ready to do this? I just basically think that everyone's human. Basically, they they survive. They're no they're no different from us. Basically, maybe by culture, but everything else in between is the same. You know, they think that they are representing a community of people that most people don't give voice to or dismiss a voice. You know, that's soft, that's still growing. What do you think they think we value? We value like capitalism, like money. We value money. We we value friendship, we value patriot, patriotism. Okay. I would say um, they think we value like making we weaponry, making like, sure, like, you know. Yeah. Kind of building an arsenal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, doesn't every other country do that? <laughs> yeah. I think it's really important to remember that we're a part of something huge and especially in our society, I think we are very me-oriented, and it's really important to remember that um, it's we're a part of something much bigger than us. The work with youth with the Global Theatre Project is just so important to see, to have them see that they're important in the world. Usually if I meet people from foreign countries or other nations, First thing I do, usually, usually before I leave, and usually before I say farewell, I usually say, well, welcome to America, sometimes. Yeah. Um, I remember we talked about that last just week. Just want to be friendly. You're a very friendly guy. Yeah. Um, they, now, maybe they're going to meet people who turn out, but not, they're not going to be like what they thought they were. And I think they were also really proud to have a voice, not just as um, young adults with disabilities, but for them to be asked questions just as them as a person yeah, and um, just as an artist, not just in Los Angeles, but in, as a citizen of the world. I think um, artists uh, of autism uh, should speak out, uh, speak out uh, for activism of freedom and bravery, just as the American dream has theorized, which can be released from inside of you. Um, I wish I knew but uh, That's okay. Maybe it's also because that most people with disabilities, like, that are artists, might not have the same courage as us, and just seeing us do it gives them, gives other people with disabilities hope that they can do it as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they were really excited about it because I don't think anybody really ever gives them opportunities like this. And the fact that they were given a chance to voice their opinion and that their opinion matters and that it's going to be heard in a broader sense of the world for people to see and people to hear was huge for them. And so I think they really gave a lot of thought to the questions and they were really proud of their answers and that people were going to be hearing them across the globe.
in that way artists have great great impact and influence in the world's culture and the world's um, uh, establishment art can change a lot the question of what is our part is a real question what can we do in the world right that's the real question that's what we've been asking all day today so let's ask that question sincerely what can we do in the world what is our part ready one two through first with high Stratford. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> high Stratford, all the world's a stage. What is our part? Yes? Woo! Anybody think artists can't change anything? Um, uh, <laughs> Alex, go for it. Well, you can look at um, through history, like um, an artist, just for example, as Da Vinci, mm -hmm. he made like the first weaponry, like the first tank. Yeah. For example, so he changed and brought in like his his ideas and that's where I think how we can change the world like not as weaponry but like we can change the world through our art.